Want to get more out of your practice sessions? Today I'll show you how I go about doing that. Hi, I'm Eric with Pursuit for Park Golf, where we help you improve your game and enjoy golf more. I plan to cover some things that will help you get more out of your range sessions. I also will include some video at the end of myself going through the steps I describe. So we all want to practice to get better, but a common mistake people make is they confuse with going to the range with practice. If you want to practice, you really need to have a plan. It is not just randomly beating balls, hitting your driver all day. That is not practice. That might be a workout, but that's about it. Ideally, you'll go in with a plan of what you want to work on and then break it down into chunks. The way our nervous system works is, after a period of time, it doesn't matter how long we continue to repeat a task, we lose our focus. So what we want to do is break down our practice into shorter chunks, say 20 minutes, take a break, and then either repeat that or go on to something else when we practice. For example, Ben Hogan was famous for the amount of time he spent on the range. However, he was also a smoker. So he would occasionally have to take a butt break and that would provide that necessary respite from his practice. So there's two things I wanna work on today. The first one is a drill to help me with my pivot that I'm working on. And then the second thing I'm going to work on is I've been struggling with hitting my forward, so I want to work on hitting that off the ground. With the drill, I don't really care where the ball is going to go. That's not that important. What is important is I'm trying to ingrain the movement pattern change that I'm working on. So I will I'll work on this drill for about 20 minutes. What I'll do is I'll do it in a, a bunch of sets. And the way I set it up is I'll take three balls and perform the drill with that. Then I'll take another 10 balls and use those with a slow, short swing to just work on the feel from the drill. And again, I don't really care where these balls go. All I am working on is trying to get down the feel that I want to achieve in my full swing. So since it's pivot related, I'll do that drill three times, and then I'll hit 10 balls. Then I'll repeat, and then after the 20 minutes, I'll go take a five minute break to quote uh, Monty to go watch penguin videos. So here's the drill in action. Feel it in my right heel. Feel it in my left toe. Then swing. So I'll do that three times. So after the three drills, the, where I perform the drill three times, I'll start hitting the 10 balls using an easy swing and a short iron. You don't want to be practicing with your driver unless that's actually what you're working on. Because all I care about again is the feel to change the movement pattern. So I want to feel my right hip go back more and stay there early in my backswing. So I chunked that one. Again, does not matter. I don't care how well I hit this ball, where it goes. All I care about is that feel. And because it's a change in the motor pattern, this could be ugly. So we'll try again. And that one was better. So I'll just continue doing this until my 20 minutes are up. So I spent 20 minutes working on my pivot. Another five minutes sitting in the golf cart watching Monty's Penguin videos because that's what he likes to do for some reason. And now I'm gonna work on the second thing which is trying to hit my forward off the ground because that's been a real struggle lately. Now this one, I do care about where the ball goes because that's all I'm trying to fix. I'm not trying to think about my backswing or anything else. This is all about contact and where the ball is going. And so I'll do this for 20 minutes. 
The difference between this and just raking balls is I actually have a plan. I'm not just whacking my wood down there with no reason or just wailing on my driver for the entire session. So I cut that one thin, which is what I've been doing on the course and what I'm hoping to correct. But I'll just keep at this for 20 minutes or so and then wrap it up and head home. Remember, we want to have a plan. We want to work in small chunks, 15 to 20 minutes at a time. We want to take breaks in between. And if we're working on a drill, we don't care what the ball flight is. It doesn't matter how we hit it or where the ball goes. Keep in mind that the ball flight will matter if you're working on a specific shot, such as the forward off the deck that I was using in the example in this video. If you found this helpful, please hit that like button 